Okay. Okay. Call to meeting the order of the Oxford Air Area Cable Communications Commission meeting for July 26, 2021. Stand and pay our respects to the flag.
hired from an ABC, WII, Channel 25, and Fox 66 in Flint. No reason we're going to miss that little girl. And that's the manager report. Question for the manager. Yes, sir. Do we have any other equipment? You know, we've got $350,000 on the balance. As a matter of fact, we have a meeting with Ed tomorrow. We have a whole list of situations. Are you sure what I was going to ask? Pardon me? Are you sure what I was going to ask? What I asked? Were you sure what I was going to ask? He wants to finish what he was going to I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bill. No problem. No problem. Yeah. But, you know, uh, rather than having to wait, is there any way we can look at this equipment and kind of think ahead? That's what the plan is tomorrow. But, I mean, for all equipment. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to meet with, if somebody else wants to join me as part of the technical committee, they're welcome to. But my plan is to meet with them at 2 o'clock tomorrow. We're going to review all the equipment and evaluate the status of that equipment and come back to the board with a uh, report on such equipment. That's exactly the answer I wanted to hear. Uh, I'd like to add something tomorrow. Can I add to that? Oh, there's one. Please. So we, are, we already have a list together, but we were also asked to come up with a three-year plan by September. So we're prioritizing, and, and um, that's going to help. We're also meeting with Joe Medor because they want to do live streaming as well as the township. And so we're accumulating a list there as well. Either way, we'll be back to the board. Would you check and see if you'd like to offer this contribution? Pardon me? <laughs> What'd you say? Would you like to ask them if they would like to up? I'd up love to see them give us our full franchise fees that would help. Yes, please. <clears throat> any any follow-up? Nope. Oh, that's good. Exactly what I want to hear. All right. 9A, no unfinished business. 10A, new business. Uh, the management of the TV station is proposing a wage increase for OC TV employee Joseph Calhoun. Mr. Chairperson, can I interrupt? <clears throat> can we have uh, Joe go out of the room so we don't have to harass him in public? Well, he gets to see it on TV. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why he's always leaving. Now, Joe <clears throat> has been with us now about 90 days now. He has a degree from Specs Howard School in Broadcasting in 2009. He has two degrees from both the College of Broadcasting and Technology in 2011. He's Broadcasting Bachelor from the Nam University from 2014 to 2016. So we'd like to have his raise up from $14 to $15 per hour and ask for him to be a full-time operator, operation person for us. We have we have now one, two, three, four. We'll have with Joe be the fourth employed person with no insurance. And I believe we can get up to eight or nine. Have to worry about that with the staff. Should we fit change with just what we have right now? Then by having Joe as a full-time operator, we can probably eliminate two of the part-time people. Is he is that correct? He and Dan and, and Joe are just a dynamic duo for us. Right here. Yeah. And with the hours that Joe is doing right now he's constantly bumping up against going over because he's got so many things up in the air um, between Dan myself and Joe and um, trying to find part-time workers right now is impossible yeah. we're having a hard time and you know how that is I mean it's across the country they're having a hard time hiring people and for you know part-time work we can't guarantee this guy has five children and he's so happy to work for us right now um, i'd love to be able to have him full-time what's the total on that kind of budget benefits and wages i'm sorry say that again what's the total impact on the budget benefits and wages he wouldn't get benefits for one thing and so how do you have a full-time employee and not give them Insurance. Because we don't have enough employees to do that. You have to have nine or 11 employees to offer insurance. You can get away with not offering insurance if you have less than somewhere between nine and 11. So what's the full impact on the budget? I haven't figured that out. 40 times, pardon? 40 50 times 15. 280 times, times 15. I can look on my phone. It should be 
What, what's the question, Terry? Do you have a full year's impact? No. So the downs were retired a couple years ago. It's, it was still way less than the hours with uh, Joe compared to what's the outage. They've, they've used. It would be 31000 a year. And right now he's making like half that. Well, you're using him to replace two part time people. Yep. Right. Well, what would the part timers be? And I'm telling you, he's dancing. They'd be right around 14. 14, 14 a year. 15 an hour. 31 9. So actually, you're saving. Oh, yes. We would. <laughs> And I'm telling you, he's quite a worker. Oh, yeah. And his, his knowledge, technically, he can dance circles around all of us. I'll make a motion to approve the wage increase to 15 for Joe Calhoun. I'll support it. In a full time? In and, and a full time capacity. I'll support, support that. We have a motion. It's been supported. Roll call. Aaron? Yes. Dunn? Yes. Sotheby? Yes. Yep. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. I like the way this was presented from the board for wage increases. I don't care whether it's you or some other part time. I just I like the way it was done this way. Thank you. You will be very happy. Very happy. Okay. Uh, item 11, committee reports. Uh, technical committee, as I stated earlier, if there is anybody on the board that wishes to partake on the technical committee with myself, I will be meeting with management of the station tomorrow at 2 and making the first of an evaluation and reviewing the equipment. So by the time we get to September meeting, we will have information to the board regarding the status of the equipment and what would be required as immediate and future needs and uh, so forth. Uh, other than that, I have nothing else to provide. Committee, personnel committee, I, you, you guys don't have anything more to add from yeah. Karen? No. Morning. No. Is there anything we should be planning on doing? Is there any reason for us to meet? Well, I'm going to. There's something we have to present in front of the board. I mean, the commission. Who the personnel committee? Yeah, is there anything we have to do? It seems like I'm forgetting something. Terry, are we forgetting anything? I just is this effective immediately? I'll make, a, I'll make a motion to make that last motion effective immediately. I'll accept that amendment. You will re-support that. <laughs> we will make the record clear. Yes, I will. Do we need to roll call that too? Yeah. Probably do. It wouldn't hurt. To rescind, uh, to, uh, um, rescind the previous motion and to make the adjustment to make the uh, uh, change in Joe's status um, effective immediately. Effective immediately. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. On the way. Yes. So to be. Yes. On the way. Yes. Okay. Personnel committee. We went through that. All right. Uh, commissioner comments. Morning. Just that Joe Dorr is going to be meeting with Terry tomorrow. We're going to talk about. Do we need a hub? Is our Wi-Fi good enough? What do we need at the village to get this live streaming going? And just another way to get the community a chance to be involved. Even though they can't interact, they can watch. Mm -hmm. See how pretty we all are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dunn? No. Sorry. Comment. Karen? I don't have anything. No comments. Uh, Comment I like to make is um, in the past I have um, commented that uh, I'm trying to get to Norway to see my daughter, and uh, under the uh, uh, current world conditions, uh, my trips have been canceled because they won't let us in. Uh, at present, we're scheduled to leave 
uh, on the um, 21st, I think, of August to go to Norway. But as a, at present, we aren't allowed to go. But I don't know if that's going to change. Um, and for the next meeting, I'm going to say that I'm probably not going to be available. And I believe there's going to be one other board member who will probably have an issue with that meeting as well. So there will be two board members unavailable for next meeting. What is that date? 20, the next meeting is the 23rd. Yep. So as a comment, um, I suppose we can do an email uh, exchange, but I would suggest that we cancel the August meeting and reconvene it in September. If you don't go in August, are you going to go in September? No. Well, I'll be gone in September, so. I think we can make it without you. Well, you'll have two. Three. Can we make it without them? I, I, I might have conflict on the 23rd as well. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> but I, as of right now, I don't. But as <coughs> you're talking about the dates, I'm thinking I might be coming back from a trip out of town that day. Well, why don't we... Um, <coughs> can we schedule it for a different date that month? Earlier in the month? Rather than go two meetings of possible a lot of people missing. Back it up a week, maybe? Back it up a week. Can, can we schedule this via email? Or do we have to do it here under a public form? No, we can do it via email. I mean, I don't have my calendar in front of me. I didn't bring my, I don't, I, I would say that I could probably meet the previous Monday, but I don't. Are we talking about moving August or September? So August. August. I mean, why don't we cancel August to move September closer? Okay. Well, well I, we can do that. That's fine. I, I suggest that we cancel August and go and just, we can reschedule the September meeting any day we want, actually. Are you guys going to be ready? I mean, Terry, Bill, are you guys going to be ready with September When is the September meeting scheduled for? The 20th? I think it'll be the 27th. 27th. Yeah, sorry. We could. For the 20th, I'm sorry. No, 27th. Um, yeah, it's 4th week. 27th. So, you can I do can, the 27th. I can make that up. The 27th? I can make the 27th. It's the... I won't be here. Okay. Well, I'll have to... Just make a date, Bill. Make a date. If we make it, we make it. If not, we can't. Well, the next scheduled meeting after August is the 27th. 20th. 27th. 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 4th week. Sorry. If we can make it to 20th, if everybody wants to do that. I have nothing to do. Yeah, every scheduled meeting. I'll be okay. Yeah, I'll make it the 27th. Karen? I'm fine with 20th. Morning? There you go. That's fine. There you go. Good job. 20th it is. So cancel it. I'll make a motion to cancel the August meeting and to schedule the September meeting for September 20th at 4.30. Second. I'm just making a comment because I don't want to screw things up because I know what government protocol is. Can we do something like that without being on the agenda? Who's going to yeah, know? It's fine. Who's going to know? Who's going to know? <laughs> all right. So we have a motion. It's been supported. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Now is that at 4 or 4.30? 4.30 is the motion. Okay. I'm going to put the rate. 4.30. 4.30. September 4th. That's good for the staff. Yeah. Item 13, public comments. No. Speak now, none. I'm over here. Been, okay. We have a motion that's been supported. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We are adjourned. We're